I get the brown sugar oatmeal shake and espresso? Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as some of you guys may have heard, Starbucks recently released the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso and we are trying that for the first time today um so i've heard a lot of people say that like this is really really good they don't like coffee and they really like this i've also heard some people say it's really not worth it or like it's really not worth the hype so i wanted to try it out for myself and see if it's good or not i feel like i'm gonna like this but like, it was $6. But also, can we just appreciate how pretty this is? So let's mix this up. That did not work. I need a spoon. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, like it's good. It honestly kind of tastes like a less sweet version of like milk tea. Oh, how interesting. I don't know if it's the oat milk that makes it taste more like tea or if it's the brown sugar that makes it taste more like, I feel like it's, I've never had oat milk before, so I'm not too sure, but it's pretty good. So I definitely think this would be something I would want to buy again, but I don't want to spend $6 on like, this tiny drink. Um, so let's try and recreate it with Nespresso. Okay, so I've seen like a couple of TikToks of baristas who work at Starbucks making this drink. So I feel like this is honestly one of the easier drinks that you can recreate at home. I feel like all the ingredients that they used are basically ingredients that you would have at home. So like it's just brown sugar, simple syrup, cinnamon, espresso, ice, and your choice of milk. So for the brown sugar simple syrup, I made this this morning. I left it out to cool. And this is honestly just equal parts brown sugar and water and you boil it for like two to three minutes. And um, yeah, that's it. It's honestly super simple, super easy. We love that. So in one of the videos I saw, they used three pumps of the brown sugar simple syrup. And I think that's just equivalent to like three teaspoons. So that's what we're gonna do. One two three and depending on whether or not you like your drink sweeter or less sweet you can add more or less depending on your preference ice we're using a blender bottle because i don't have a drink shaker and it's essentially the same thing and then they add like a dash of cinnamon so we're just gonna add a little pinch and then pour our espresso in and just give it a good shake I've always wanted to be a bartender, but. And you can leave the old ice cubes in or put in new ones. I'll probably put in new ones, but again, personal preference up to you. So they used oat milk in their drink. Um, I don't have oat milk at home, but honestly, you can use whatever type of milk you want. Almond milk, cashew milk, regular milk, oat milk, whatever it may be. Use what you want, use what you have. So I'm gonna use a mixture of almond milk and my sweet cream, just because I feel like oat milk is a bit thicker uh, and almond milk isn't that thick. So I do wanna add something to like thicken it up a little bit. In the video, it didn't look like they added that much oat milk. Okay, let me get a straw. Whoa, this is good. This tastes so much better than the Starbucks version. Oh my God, okay, yeah, I'm speechless. This is really good. Okay, well, that's that. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, I'm speechless. I'll post the recipe in the description box down below. I highly recommend making this at home because the pod is only like a dollar and then 
all the other ingredients are most likely ingredients you already have lying around at home while this was like freaking $5.90, $6. Okay, don't get me wrong, this is really good, but it's definitely not worth $6. Like you could you could basically buy like four Doritos Locos Tacos with one of these. So save your coin, make it at home. In my opinion, this tastes better than this. Yes, it's a little bit sweeter. Just put less brown sugar, simple syrup, but this is so much better than, mm-mm. I am like wired now because I have had so much coffee in such a short amount of time, but I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.